So now we move over to the sharing of uh, uh, Sadish Kumar Sahu Bhaiya. Namaste, Sadish Ji. Mic is passed to you. Namaskar, Bhaiya Ji. Namaste. So I will briefly put your introduction and no, then you can place your sharing within uh, 20 minutes, Bhaiya. Sure, sure. Ji. So Sadish, Sadish Kumar Sahu Bhaiya, he is working as a, a middle school teacher in CM Rice Government Excellence uh, Higher Secondary School, Amula. Uh, that is in Madhya Pradesh. He did his uh, USB intro PPP last year, face to face uh, in May 2023. And activities, uh, he regularly joining is uh, joining regularly the morning session from first. Uh, and uh, he's also joining the monthly meetings. He's reading the book of uh, UHP. He is attending the weekly meeting every Friday conducted in the Madhya Pradesh. He also conducts uh, regular classes in school and letting others also to understand uh, the proposals of UHP. He joined the ninth batch of morning session. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Sadesh Kumar Bhaiya for his sharing in the morning session. Bhaiya, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya Ji. Uh, as uh, Sunil, uh, Dr. Sunil Kumar Bhaiya Ji has uh, given my brief introduction uh, to add to this i am taking both classes 10th and 12th managing subjects mathematics and physics respectively in the classes i am uh, living married life since may 2006 blessed with a boy harsh who just appeared in his uh, high secondary school exam in the month of uh, february 2024 and a girl child mahi whose studies for ninth class started with effect from 1st of April 2024. My wife is a homemaker and manages family. We are living with my father as a mother's presence is now in the form of her blessings with us. My wife has a very clear idea as far as her needs and necessities are concerned. I learned the same last year while doing UHV face-to-face -face FDP. But uh, every moment I recollected her words <clears throat> whenever uh, something like this is going on, keep, uh, we need to re uh, realize our needs and necessities. I recollect her words, whatever she used to say uh, right from the 2006 since we, since we are living together. So uh, I personally felt at that time, he, yes, I have a very good <clears throat> partner in uh, with me who understands, who justifies the needs and necessities. And uh, as such, uh, uh, whatever uh, general complaint is there, uh, I would like to say that she never complained like uh, what to wear. I don't have any collection. So this is uh, uh, already a very good hand with uh, myself. Now, since I too had uh, a very clear picture of my needs and necessities, so we both try together to complement each other. Now coming to the sharing part with uh, all my co-explorers and facilitators. For this uh, sharing part, uh, uh, as we know that he, uh, this is just a proposal method. Here, we need to check ourselves rather than accepting these. So, the two exercises. The first one, observing the self, the self, and in every moment. The exercise second, observing the self, the body and interaction between self and body in space. There are seven steps in both exercise first and uh, second. In exercise first, we have two sub steps in the steps six and seven. So to begin the first step of exercise first, it is all about the desire, thought and E, the expectations. The ever continuous imagination was observed very carefully, keeping in conscious 
to avoid reaction at any cost. Initially, the feeling that followed in the second step of the exercise first was not at all as per my natural ex acceptance at the very moment. But as the says, practice helps in erasing imperfections. So the daily exercises that were given by mentors, the resource person to observe the same, not only made feeling at that moment naturally acceptable, but paved a smooth path for the step three of the exercise first and enabled me to be in happy, in harmony with the every feeling of mine and every moment of the process. Sikhega tabhi jab vayavar mein dikhega. These were the punchlines that were given during the UHV first workshop. So I tried to inculcate each and everything that were uh, given to us as a proposal. And instead of uh, telling the things, I tried to demonstrate the things. Of course, since uh, I have to try and avoid reaction, so every feeling at every moment of being in harmony and happy was decided solely by self. At the step four, I can clearly see that it is me, mine and myself who has taken a final call rather than any outsider, be it a living being or a non-living thing. Uh, as uh, most of uh, here, <clears throat> we belong to teaching profession. So we know that the method of explanation using examples is very often find its use in subject teaching and understanding the subject in a better way. So the feeling of being in harmony that made self happy in the step five was decided only and only by understanding. The core value that everyone wants to live ultimately with continuous fulfillment, this became a behavioral aspect within myself. For this, proposal method was very suitable. Before coming to step six <clears throat> and seven, uh, let me uh, recollect my journey. The infinite journey with uh, UHV started on the Sunday, 21st of May last year. I very well remember the introduction that was given by Sri Bhanu Bhaiyaji regarding the definition and explanation of UHV by asking us a simple question. This question we had replies as per our uh, feelings at that time. But uh, the two words strike me. And I started introspections right from there only. Though it was in the evening at uh, 8 p.m. He also said that one should always try to demonstrate understanding and responsibility honestly. Suchanai preshit nahi karni hai, rather swayam mehsus karein. These lines became like a Lakshman Rekha for me and tried and I tried to best of my potential not to cross them ever. Until that, I am successful in my endeavors. Informations are not to be transferred, rather feel them in self. These words I started following in the very first workshop that I attended. During those seven days and eight nights at Valmi campus in Bhopal, our resource person was uh, Sri uh, Dilshad Hussain Bhaiyaji. He, along with his team, <coughs> who includes uh, Sri Kesri Ji, Sri Himanshu Raya Ji, and all the volunteers, mentors, they spared no pains in inculcating and making V5, uh, 125 faculty over there to realize, understand, and always keep in mind the three words, namely relationship, harmony, and coexistence. These three words they become an integral part from then onwards. In the steps 6a, b, 
सेवन ए एंड बी आई फील कि दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू ईच अदर फीलिंग्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप हार्मनी एंड को एग्जिस्टेंस आर नाउ नेचुरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू मी एंड एवरी नाउ एंड देन आई एक्सप्लोर सेल्फ इन मी टू नॉट ओनली रिकोगनाइज दिस थ्री बट ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ दिस थ्री इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ होल नेचर एग्जिस्टेंस now i can very well say that i have a clear picture clear understanding that coexistence harmony and relationship is the truth the feeling for the three and thinking about the three is love as a faculty member as a facilitator i only have the understanding have the feeling and thinking and now i have to live by these three words coexistence harmony and relationship and is the compassion which i shall try every moment keeping myself at the state of my observer to ensure checking of proposal method self or rather correct evaluation with forever continuous process of imagination the attitude i have developed from them from then onwards is give and give and of course in accordance with natural acceptance in the step 7a i am pretty sure that when i am in line with the feeling of these three words i am always in a state of happiness and harmony and that to every moment and on understanding the step 7b the same i always wanted to be comfortable within by enabling self in a state of happiness and harmony in continuity and that too by deciding my feeling in a natural manner that is this feeling just appear rather than making them to appear and i ensure this happenings from the state of my observer at the end of the exercise first to sum up i understand and realize that exercise 1 is about feelings and thoughts be aware and evaluating one's feeling is it in accordance with natural acceptance it is working for self at every moment to give right feeling or understanding for relationship feeling which leads to happiness are continuous and ensure harmony and ultimately the purification coming to the exercise 2 i very well remember in the morning session when it started ki it was said that ki the ratio 1 is to 99 that is outside to inside has to be kept in mind in the first step i can say yes the self the body both exist and they are in coexistence for the step second yes i transact information with body as and when required but accordingly and keeping in mind the step 3 of this exercise second taking care that only the positive sensation that foster role of self are transacted every moment i am the one who decides what instructions are to be passed to the body and what sensations are to be read for the step 4 while reading the sensation i can read it in part of the body example eating sneezing anything that disturb us thereby understanding that there is a difference between self and body keep right understanding while reading the sensation and make sure lest it should not go beyond 1% as major decision has to be taken by the self i recollect the movie that was shown to a we in the uhv session right here right now and it enables me to stop doubting 
the intentions of others. Coming to the step five of exercise two, uh, as it involves nine activities, five for the self and four outside. So I could interpret it is 56% for self and 44% outside. So introspection is very vital. My, intro, my interaction with the body or the world outside is by way of sensation. I read the sensation by logical thinking, analyzing with scientific temper, arriving at a decision by creative thinking, thereby giving meaning to the sensation. I'll try to become master of sensation, but not slave. My reaction or response to stimuli depends on my sanskar. I see sanskar as a preparation or practice or loyalty for true or correct living. Sanskar includes correct or true skill, technique, or understanding. So the step six say, I see sanskar to be correct and no incorrect sanskar. I avoid reacting if my sanskar is based on assumption. I don't decide my feeling based on external inputs. So no question of becoming unhappy based on external inputs. I keep evaluating myself and purifying myself by this I try to minimize and eradicate assumptions. In the step 6b, instead of reacting, I try to ensure positive response based on my understanding. I continue to remain in harmony. If bhav vichar are in right understanding, then kar vevar will be there. My feeling remains natural in accordance with human nature, and I continue to be in a state of happiness. Every moment I keep telling and understanding that I have to be in a state of my observer to ensure role of self is very important. I do use external input to rightly evaluate the external situation. By dancing in a barat, which has blocked the narrow road is an example. My colleague and I was passing by and due to the blocked road, my colleague was giving horn continuously. But loud sound of the band baja, the music made it unaudible. So I said to my colleague, don't get upset yet. Let's enjoy. So we both went and danced with those people. And also while dancing, we guided the Bharat to allow passage to the pass buyers. In the step seven, I could very well understand the coexistence. Coexistence is there among all the units of space and are in harmony with each other. So as a human being, I have to ensure the right understanding of this coexistence, right feeling that I am in coexistence in space. The body is in coexistence in space. So being human, I have to ensure definite human behavior at the end of the exercise second and leaving the all the seven steps i could say it is effective only when i am interacting with the world and that too in a very very short <clears throat> amount the exercise two tells us about the interaction with outside but keep in mind the role of self is very important so Keep evaluating self and purifying oneself. There are many instances. In every instance, I used to avoid the reaction. And rather, I ask myself WH questions. Why? What? Who? Whom? These are just not, these are just immaterial for me though living in coexistence with every other individual is very important but the reaction should not be such that it, it get affected by the external factors my behavior has changed drastically my near ones my knees my 
ब्रदर माय सिस्टर दे यूज टू से ही एज चेंज अ लॉट दे आर ऑब्जर्विंग माय पीयर ग्रुप माय friends that uh, i had in morning, morning walk which is uh, minimized nowadays they observe me and they say yes uh, you have a change for example uh, in the last one year i had bought only six dresses <laughs> as against 11 or 12 that i used to purchase before so this is just an example ki i have minimized i have recognized rather the necessity and needs of course the conditions are always not favorable but keeping in mind the self at the state of observer i try to make it favorable behavior or living it expects it speaks louder than words so i try to show to have or to set an example by virtue of my actions now i don't get angry as <clears throat> i used to be with a mere factor as now i understand that i am competent enough to decide for my happiness as i said in the beginning my wife she has very clear picture of this so i can use this time to uh, say gratitude for her we used to hear this uh, classes in the morning session and uh, most of the times she used to say dekha main bolti thi na dekho maine bola tha na aisa hona chahiye so i have a very good friend with me who corrects me every now and then and every moment i am living with her and enjoying the life with her coming to the third point of this uh, sharing i am trying my level best to be transparent and this transparency will in turn enable me to see all the seven plus seven points that is exercise 1 and exercise 2 clearly in self i used to feel the magical number 7 and its significance as i can see the number of days in a week the number of continents the colors in a rainbow wonders in a world and of course the number of phases that is rounds in marriage all are having figure 7 in common so as i can visualize all these 7 in my daily life so i can proudly and confidently say that yes i could see all 7 steps of exercise 1 and 7 steps of exercise 2 in myself clearly to the fourth point of this sharing as far as happiness is concerned i am very clear that i can't and won't allow to get it affected from outside undoubtedly happiness is my innate nature and i irrespective of what other may try to dislodge me from this feeling i will stick to it i am crystal clear that happiness is natural characteristic and not the effect from outside as i can see that happiness is in that nature then the program to ensure it to get favorable effect from outside i keep right understanding for other person in an unconditional manner i don't get affected by external factors others response or their behavior the next part of this point 4 yes 100% of this program will be by keeping in focus the self and will be based on natural acceptance but not based on preconditioning sensation as self and body coexistent coexist so a few program may be made keeping in focus the body in terms of facilitating the right understanding relationship and of course the physical facility required for body to ensure living with continuous fulfillment Uh, Sudesh Bhaiya, we have a time limitation. Ah uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, yeah. Just two minutes. Coming to my commitment, I am devoting. Uh, I am devoting two hours for development, right understanding, feeling by reading UHV books and understanding them. I am 
used to make notes from all possible sources, be it audio, visual, or print. Uh, as uh, Bhaiya have introduced, uh, as uh, said in my introduction part, I am regularly joining the weekly discussion that we used to have every Friday run by my school education department, Madhya Pradesh, and that is for one and a half hour. I take every care to join the monthly meeting that is scheduled for every first uh, Sunday of every month. And uh, I'm eager to join next face-to-face -face workshop whenever I get chance and that too with my family as uh, my better half is uh, having good understanding. So I wish to have her in the next workshop with me. I am eager to strengthen myself, my uh, polish my rough edges. So by developing a right understanding and feeling, I don't feel that time is a constant. I can devote ample of time for social responsibility in addition to my present commitments as there will this will be a golden opportunity to serve the society which is an integral part of our exploration and can easily devote at least two hours so this is all about my sharing regarding the UHV's morning session and uh, i'm extremely thankful to all the co-explorers and facilitators over here thank you Bhaiya. thank you so much Bhaiya, for this uh, detailed sharing now, looking at the time constraint, let me request uh, Shamla Didi to give her comments regarding Sadish Paya's sharing. Shamla Didi, over to you. Ji, namaste. Namaste, Sadish Ji. Uh, namaste, Didi. Ji, very nice to hear you today. I don't believe we have heard too much in terms of sharing from you during the session. But obviously, you know, with the face-to-face uh, -face workshop you've had in the past and with the um, morning session exercises, you are obviously exploring, uh, working on yourself. And uh, you mentioned changes in behavior also. People are observing changes in you. That's very commendable, very nice to hear. Um, you mentioned that uh, you, know, you are able to see very clearly both, both steps of the exercises. And you know all the steps of both the exercises, and if that is happening, that is wonderful. Uh, we can just see that if that is happening, we will be in a state of happiness every moment. We will be having awareness every moment. Um, all that will happen. So, um, and we can see clearly. Then that will be our state. Um, I think that uh, you may want to, um, you know, go through the exercises again. And of course, you're continuously keeping uh, the reading going. I would say even for the next batch, uh, we will hope that you will be with us and continue the exploration further. There may be more subtle um, meanings that we need to get out of the exercises, which we may not be aware of right now. So uh, do go through again and uh, all the very best to you. Uh, very wonderful to hear that you are open to participation also. And so, um, you know, we'll keep that in mind when we um, are looking for, um, you know, uh, participation. There are many projects ongoing. So based on whatever is your um, preference, what you um, have, you know, capacity for, you will be able to see that and uh, we'll be in touch with for that. So all the very best to you for the future journey also, the explorations, the participation, volunteering, best wishes. Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Didi, for the comments. Uh, thank you, Sadeshji, 